This queen of yours is spirited. I'll give her that. But she has no right to force her will upon all of Tamriel. That's more than I'm getting from them. What do you suggest? I don't doubt their commitment or their bravery, but they are few. And Molag Baal's followers are legion. Arke's beard, you're a bold one. But you may be right. If you can convince the Barbarian and the Child Queen to agree, I'll consider it. Keep your steel sheathed in the presence of the High King, or you'll answer to me. Save your breath. I will not be swayed by some Altman lapdog. But what about the war in Cyrodiil? If I commit troops to this invasion, the pact will be vastly outnumbered there. <laughs> Wizards and mercenaries against the Daedric hordes. Without the Ebonheart Pact, they do not stand a chance. How dare you? I should kill you where you stand. History will remember the Skull King as the bane of Moloch Ball. I will support your foolish plan. Now get out of my sight! Bah! I don't trust your leader, and I don't trust you. With our combined strength, we might have a chance, but our distrust runs too deep. I fear we'll never reach an accord. Is there? What did you have in mind? Hmm, perhaps. But we don't know enough about Cold Harbor to fully understand what they'd be up against. An excellent point. Very well. If you can convince the other leaders, you have my support. Good to see you. I've been promoted since I saw you last, and my sister Saranya is in good health. I'll give her your best when I see her. Any luck? Or are they still at an impasse? I hope they come to their senses soon. We're going to lose the element of surprise. With very good reason. But the sooner they come to an agreement that... Does the air feel strange to you? That's odd. All of a sudden it feels like a storm is approaching. I have an ill feeling about this. He... He has arrived. I can't. Caldian! What's happening? Go! Get away from me! Run! These are the great leaders of Tambiel. Pathetic. <laughs> but how convenient to have them gathered together in one place, so I can crush them like insects. Moloch Ball! Stay back, Countess! The insects fight back! How amusing! And yet, so very sad. All of Nern shall be mine. Keldian! Protect the leaders. Defeat Molag Ball's minions. Close the unstable rest. Molag Ball.
My guards, all dead. I thought we were safe here, hidden from the enemy. The god of schemes grows more powerful by the day. Agreed. There's no time to waste. We must take the fight to him. Yes, at the Iliad Well at the center of the island. After that terrible display of power, I don't think they have much choice. Honored leaders, you have seen the face of our enemy! Molag Ball threatens every living being in Tamriel. The Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild have agreed to join forces to launch an assault on Cold Harbor. Trust in us. Sanction our actions. Give us your blessings. We will not let you down. Vanus is right. The Guilds are our best and only choice. Send them to Cold Harbor. I hate to admit it, but I agree with Emmerich. As do I. It appears that much of the distrust between our alliances was sown and nurtured by the God of Schemes. Molag Bal thrives on deception and chaos. But if you'll forgive me, this alliance war is of your own making. Countess Akruba, gather the surviving members of both guilds in the Sturk interior. The Champion and I will go there now to open the portal. We'll be right behind you, Vanus. The time has come, Champion. Let's go! Stendar, protect us all! We're as ready as we shall ever be. Unfortunately, yes. It's not the massive army we'd hoped for. But now that Molag Ball knows we're coming, a smaller group might be our only hope of slipping into Cold Harbor undetected. It's difficult to predict where you will emerge once you reach Cold Harbor. Be on your guard, my friend. Survive then, have you? Johnny good! Johnny good! Rotten luck! They arrived in Cold Harbor, but in entirely different locations. Bloody unpredictable! Portals to oblivion! Not to mention Molog Ball's defenses. Nasty beasties abound. Off you go, over the bridge and head inland. There's a good chap. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. I was afraid you'd stuffed it. What bridge? Is there a bridge? Tricky things, bridges. Tend to have all kinds of hideous creatures living beneath them. Except that one over there. That one leads to the Hollow City. Dreadfully dull place, and a real eyesore, if you ask me. But I suppose it's where you want to start your quest. Quest? What a simply fabulous word. Quest. 
Quest. Quest. I just love how it rolls off the tongue. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good. Welcome to the beautiful gardens of Cold Harbor. Do have a look around. Lovely day for it. Soak up the ambiance, the grandeur, the wonder of it all. I have the oddest feeling we've discussed this before, or did I already mention that? No matter. I am Sir Cadwell, the undaunted Knight of the Court of Cold Harbor, champion of chivalry, defender of the defenseless, shepherd to the soul shriven. Uh, am I not speaking the common tongue of Nern? I was once fluent, but time does get on, doesn't it? I'm sorry, I forgot the question, though I'm quite sure I already answered it. You really should pay more attention. Sane? That's in the north, isn't it? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Did I? I don't recall that, but there is a bridge just ahead. Leads to the city, rather a drab, empty place at present, but a little paint, a potted plant or two. And honestly, it's not as if you've got a lot of choices right now, so off you go. Very few would dare to enter the Prince of Murder's realm of their own choosing. Your action consists of equal parts bravery and stupidity. I think in this case, that's exactly what we need. We've been waiting for you, Plainwalker. You may refer to me as the Groundskeeper, one of the few survivors that remain. I tend to this city. The magic that protects these walls and keeps us safe requires constant nurturing and the utmost care. The city's original name no longer matters. Now it is a hollow city, waiting to be filled. A perfect place to begin an assault on Molag Bal. This city can be your armor against the hazards of Cold Harbor. It just needs life to return it to glory. It could be. There is no safer place in Cold Harbor, for Molag Baal's reach cannot extend into the Hollow City. That is what was intended, and that is the way it is. Please walk with me. Let me show you why this city will serve your needs. Watch and listen. While I could explain things to you, it will be better to simply show you. The history of the city permeates these streets, and with a bit of magic, I can reveal it to you. Now come.
Long ago, this city existed in Nern. It was alive and vibrant, and went by a different name. Its people were devoted to Prince Meridia, the Radiant One. They lived in peace and assumed themselves safe from any dangers. But Meridia has enemies, such as the despicable Molag Baal. The Prince of Murder sent minions from Cold Harbor to destroy her beloved city. The city's defenders did what they could, but they were no match for Molag Baal's forces. Everyone outside the walls was slaughtered, but the warriors and mages managed to seal the gates to protect those huddled within. As fortune would have it, the alien king Lalorian Dinar was visiting the city. A skilled warrior and tactician, he quickly took command of the city's defenses. The Aeliad King single-handedly protected one of the gates. As he fought, he prayed for assistance, and his prayers were answered. Meridia felt compassion for her followers, but she also saw an opportunity. Molag Baal's open portal worked both ways. The time had come to take the battle to Cold Harbor. Meridia warded the city and pushed it into Cold Harbor. The city arrived intact, but many of its inhabitants were either killed or scattered by this realm's protective spells. Even the alien king was captured. Still, Meridia had accomplished the impossible. She stabbed a dagger into Molag Baal's side. A portion of her realm was in his domain and he could not touch it. The survivors lost faith, however. One by one, they left the safe confines of the city to try to return to Nur. They were foolish, and they paid the price for rejecting Meridia's edicts. Meridia foresaw a day when an opportunity would arise an overconfident Molag Baal. Champions from another plane. On that day, this city would become the focal point for the assault against the Lord of Schemes. I say that the day has finally arrived. The great mage, Vanna Scalarian the Aeliad King, and you, our last best hope. You must gather your allies and bring them here. This city shall serve you well against Molag Baal. Know that every choice you make in Cold Harbor will have an effect on the Hollow City. It shall be reborn with every person you save forged into a weapon by your own hands. I am your advisor. We both wish to stop Molag Baal's machinations. I offer you what help I can. The Hollow City awaits you and your allies. Use it wisely, and it shall not fail you. You must gather those who were lost, 
King Dinar and Vanus Galarian have vital roles to play, and they must be at your side. Rescue your missing companions. Return the Hollow City to its former glory, and we can begin the assault on Molag Bal. You shall require more than just the King and the Mage, of course. As any. Others in this realm, allies current and soon to be, all have important parts to play in this endeavor. As you seek out the Mage and the King, I'm sure you shall meet others who require your aid. Look for those you trust, and who would be willing to join us here. Go west, beyond the Moonless Walk. There you shall find the Aeliad King, held within a Tower of Darkness. Vanus the Mage is somewhere in the Eastern Plain. His exact location is hidden from me. I recommend heading west first to find the Aeliad King, but the choice is yours. If you wish to free King Dinar, you must recover the Lights of Meridia. The Lights have the power to unlock his Prison of Darkness. Originally, the Lights were a gift from Meridia, power that protected the city and made life easier for its inhabitants. When she pushed the city into Cold Harbor, she filled the lights with even more of her divine power. King Dinah is trapped within a Tower of Darkness, bound by shadows and dark magic. Meridia's lights can unravel those bonds. Without them, you won't be able to set the Aeliad King free. As you no doubt noticed, Molag Bal's realm has its own defenses. Things that teleport onto this plane tend to get scattered. As were your allies. As were the lights. They could be anywhere, but most likely, they are guarded by Molag Bal's forces. Rumors only, I'm afraid. I have heard tales of a strange prison to the northwest. A tower that is not a tower, that guards one of the lights, and others whisper of a vile laboratory to the southeast that distorts the purity of Meridia's light.
do this. I really can. All I have to do is... Oh, who am I kidding? I can't do this. There is no way. Why did I ever think I could make it in the Fighters Guild? Trying to figure out my next move. I'm with the Fighters Guild. We were attacked by Daedra. They captured my companions, took them into that prison down there. I'm just a scout. I can't fight Daedra, but I bet you could. There was a portal. The Daedra used it, but it disappeared. Near as I can figure, the only way in now is to jump down into the water. If you're brave enough to take the leap, look for Scordo. Big orc fellow. He always knows what to do. What I wouldn't do to be in a nice, safe place. A tavern somewhere, maybe. Warm, pint of ale, some good company. Instead, I'm in Cold Harbor. If Morlog Baal's minions don't kill me, Scordo surely will. The Daedra called it the Tower of Lies. I scouted around, looking for stairs or even some sort of secret entrance, but no such luck. The water looks pretty deep, though. Should be as safe as a walk in the park. Scordo knows everything and he's tough as nails. Captains Ilram and Durak may be in charge, but Scordo keeps our unit running smoothly. I suggest you talk to him before you do anything else down there. I assumed Molag Bar was trying to be funny. It's really just a deep pit, so the tower is a lie. Get it? A lie. No? Neither did I. But maybe there used to be a tower here once. That probably makes more sense. I'm a wood elf. I'm not a frontline soldier, if that's what you're getting at. If I have to fight, I prefer to do it from a distance. Anyway, jump off here and you should be fine. I really appreciate the help. There was a lot of yelling, fighting, movement. I'm smaller than a lot of the fighters, good at sticking to the shadows, so I hid. I'm not proud of it, but at least I can still help them. Or rather, I can get someone like you to help them. Did you really just leap down into this slime pit? You're either remarkably brave or really stupid. I guess, a little of both. Of course he did, the skinny weakling. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be in this mess. A Dramora mage runs the place. Clouds minds, breaks wills. I can't get my soldiers organized. Oh, the fat bastard Ogrims dragged away my friends. We joined the guild together. It ain't right them getting tortured by Ogrims. You rescue Sinfrey, Borgath, and Vicord. I'll find Overseer Aruz, and then you and me can deal with him permanently. Of course you do. Just make it quick. Me? Not much. No one pushes Scordo around. But the others? He chip away at rocks until they drop and get tormented by Ogrims. Some even have their souls yanked out. Turns them into empty husks. I would wish that fate on an elf. We tried, but... Well, this place is strange. Most of us just gave up, lost our will to resist. It doesn't affect everyone the same way, but it does make it hard to organize. Maybe if you shake things up a bit, we can snap out of this. Maybe. What do I look like? The social committee? There's a bunch of prisoners down here from all over the place. There's even a Dramora. Probably pissed off Molog Ball. But I don't really know, and I don't really care. Well, she isn't a guard, but if she's a prisoner, the Ogrims certainly don't give her any grief. To tell the truth, I'm curious about her myself. I've noticed she's been watching you since you dropped in on this little party. It wasn't just me. A whole group of us got caught by the Daedra. We teleported into Cold Harbor to take the fight to Molog Ball, but that didn't work out so good. We're down here, our captains are upstairs, and we're all up to our necks in Ogrim Dung.
Gordo sent you, didn't he? Thank tall Papa. Let me just grab a weapon before I go to meet Scordo at the rendezvous. Maybe I'll take out an Ogrim or two on my way. Scordo set up a rendezvous point in the north part of the pit. I'll see you there. She didn't make it. Find your ancestors, friend, and know that the court will avenge you. Spell of fear, the mortal pain. Bring joy to my black heart. safe? Damn. Or Gath was a good soldier, and a good friend. Thanks for helping the others, though. I've been watching for Overseer Oruz, but he hasn't come out of his chambers yet. We need to get his key. The key opens the passage to the next level. That's where they took Captain Islerom and Captain Arak. If there's a way out of this Ogrim dung pit, it's up there. Once you get the key, you need to head upstairs and find Captain Islerom. Over there. I'll go back and check on the others. Meet me by the passage door. Find the captains and find out what's going on up there. Passage is right behind me. We'll catch up with you as soon as we can. The plan is to get you to the second level so you can find out what's going on up there. I refuse to believe the captains just gave up on us. We'll get some weapons, rally the troops, and follow you shortly. Find Captain Islerom. I know him. He's a good man. This place must have him confused, or something worse has happened to him. Either way, need to know. I'm not big on speculating, but I'm certain that Blackheart Ephraim has something to do with it. Be careful around that one. Oh, and one more thing. If you seek Wheelier again, kill him for me. Tis damn fault we ended up down here. He blundered into a Dramora patrol during a scouting mission. Led them right to us. That imbecile couldn't scout his way out of an empty crate. We really need to find the captains now. <laughs> 